Hey, I'm Nate Hill, Assistant Director of the Chattanooga Public Library. Lindsay is not with us right now. Um, I'm up here, I'm winging it, you guys. I don't have this thing all scripted out. What I'm gonna tell you about is uh, how we took what was assessed as one of the worst libraries out there about a year and a half ago and transformed it into something totally awesome. Um, we did that via the fourth floor, which is a 14,000 square foot makerspace, hackerspace, civic laboratory, uh, community platform, and everything else. Chattanooga, a very unique place, the gig city. We've got the fastest internet in the country. That means that we can move photos and videos of cats faster than anybody else. <laughs> this is where it all goes down. It's not a beautiful building, is it? It's a like 1970s brutalist concrete bunker. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, what matters is what you do inside of these spaces, right? Um, and so this is what the fourth floor looked like a year and a half ago. Um, beautiful, right? Just like 30 years worth of storage, people not knowing, what, knowing how to throw things out, and just kind of junking the place up. We have a gig pipe going into that room, right? That's 14,000 square feet of potential. So we cleaned it out, we mopped it up, uh, started waxing the floor, and you can see that this is starting to get somewhere kind of interesting, right? What, what, what can go on in this space? So I want to talk for one second about what the 20th century public library was, right? This is the, the read-only time, right? This is before the internet. This is when it made sense that you would have these big warehouses of books and other media because we needed to democratize access to that. Things have changed now because of the internet. We've moved into this read-write era, right? Where everybody needs to be able to participate, to be able to produce. It's not the consumption library anymore, it's the production library as well. And so we need to design new services and new experiences around it. So we start iterating on what goes on on the fourth floor. This is a hackathon for the Digital Public Library of America during its planning process. This was one of the first big events we had. And we start holding these hackathons and different things up there and seeing how, how people use the space, right? What, what kind of things are people into? And we decide to have fun. Right? So this is a, an installation called the Then Weediatron. And we try to keep a, a light heart about everything that goes on in the space. It's incredibly useful for the community. But look what happens when you start to invite other people in and tell them, this is their platform, this is their library. This is us working with a local startup accelerator on an event called Will This Float, in which people were pitching their small business ideas in about five minutes, sort of like this. And, uh, and then everybody's voting by Twitter as to like what the best ones are and whatnot. What was so cool about this is we started developing all of these new audiences, right? People who are like, oh, there's a library? Like, you do cool stuff like this here? Um, and so then there's the other side of it. This is sort of some of the civic engagement stuff that was going on. Um, this is a, a city council candidate forum uh, right before the local elections. So I've worked in libraries in a lot of instances in which um, people are almost scared of the officials coming in, right? And so we try to embrace all of that. We've been doing a lot of work with open data right now. We're about to start hosting an open data portal out of the public library, treating government data as just another collection. And we've been doing all kinds of interesting sort of space hacks, right? Well, so, so what you're seeing there is a projector on, on some like transparent or translucent plastic, giving a really cool effect and some great signage that uh, my colleague Meg Back has put up that really welcomes people into the space. This was an amazing event in which some entrepreneurs spent about a, a month setting up um, hacking Connect cameras so that uh, they're actually tracking that dancer's movements and she's moving those videos around on a scrim. But this is what it looks like when you go and you take and, and open this up to everybody. We had a 3D printing extravaganza and had an extra thousand people come through the library on a really kind of sunny, nice day. So we were pretty happy about it. And this is some of the stuff that we're actually doing up there right now. Uh, we have Thursday night Arduino nights. We've got, uh, this is one of our staff members building a Rostock printer from scratch himself. Um, there's sort of just like this constant bit of activity. And an important point, now you're looking at our second floor and our, our amazing mayor who's standing there during the uh, Hour of Code event. Everything we do on the fourth floor is to prototype things to move across the rest of the library system, right? This is not just an island of innovation. And the most exciting recent thing, boy, this goes fast, <laughs> we launched the Mozilla Gigabit Community Fund on the fourth floor. We've really, uh, we've really become a platform for all kinds of exciting, innovating stuff in the city of Chattanooga. Okay, bye. Sorry.